Severity Index. This video is a response to an assignment in the course taught by Farouk Alemi at the Georgetown Department of Health Systems Administration. The course focuses on health information systems. In this assignment, we are asked to construct a severity index that could be used in conducting causal comparative effectiveness studies. The purpose of severity indexing is to measure the changes of outcomes of a disease due to the severity, not the treatment. The data we were given was sample claims data for 10 cases. In this chart, MI equals myocardial infraction and CHF equals congestive heart failure. Case number seven was deleted from our analyzation because the diagnosis was determined to be an ACL tear or an anterior cruciate ligament problem, which did not fit the requirements for classifying the severity of the disease. For each case, we assigned indicators to help determine the severity index. The cases were assigned a one for each disease if it was present for that case. For example, in case number one, MI and CHF were present, so under the blue and pink columns for the corresponding disease for case number one, a number one was placed. Since diabetes, hypertension, and alcohol use were not present in the case, a zero was placed in this column. I used the indicators assigned to the cases per disease and length of stay to do a regression analysis in Excel. After finding the coefficients, I standardized these values to range from 0 to 1. 1 indicates the most severe disease in the data set, which is congestive heart failure. These standardized weights are added onto the data set in this slide in the bottom in pink. To find the overall severity, I used the multiplicative utility model to score the severity of each case. These numbers are shown in the blue column. The overall severity model using multiplication is displayed here. The overall severity score calculates the overall severity of the patient's illness through multiplying 1 minus the severity scores. Finally, I plotted the length of stay and the severity of illness on a scatter plot. When a trend line is added, you can see that there is a definite relationship between severity of illness and the length of stay in a hospital. The more severe the case, the longer of life the length of stay.